Hey guys, Eamon from thegalaxytab.com. Today we got a special treat for you. We got Cyanogen Mod 7 running on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Now if you guys are not familiar with Cyanogen or Cyanogen Mod, it's basically a custom firmware that's designed to run on certain devices, um, Tab being one of them. And I need to give uh, all credit to Technomancer over at the XDA forums for taking the initiative and actually porting over Cyanogen Mod. He uh, is a great developer and we thank him a lot for doing uh, doing all this hard work. As you can see here it says Android 2.3.2. .2. I think the point .2 was just thrown in there but I'm not actually you know sure about that. Another way you can prove that this is Cyanogen is because when you reach the end, uh, the bottom and top of the menus you get this nice amber color uh, kind of telling you that you've reached the top and bottom of the um, of the menu. So another way you can tell I guess is with the nice green accent colors here next to the Wi-Fi and cellular signal. I guess that could be modded too but I think you guys just need to trust me that this is indeed Cyanogen's Mod 7. Now this is a early beta and it's not, I don't recommend it for everyday use. There are a lot of things that are broken but I just kind of want to run through and show you how things work. Uh, and you know overall it's not too different from Froyo uh, a little a little snappier um, and I was actually surprised when I ran a quadrant score I got 1850 I believe um, you can check my Twitter I posted up a picture about that um, and that's just uh, a really great score um, here we have the quick toggle for Wi-Fi Bluetooth uh, GPS and then here we have the silent on off um, switch which is really really handy now let's go ahead and do a little uh, test with the browser um, let's see if we can maybe have, have some bookmarks here. Let's just go to ebay.com and see how fast that load. I am on Wi-Fi right now. Uh, we can uh, test it out. Um, I mean, it does work over uh, Edge or 3G, and uh, it's, it rendered pretty quickly. Uh, uh, very good, actually. I'm really surprised. So, um, let's go MSN. I do have a good connection here, so it works well. So that indeed Wi-Fi does work. Cellular calling over the um, cellular signal does work as well. I know a lot of people are interested in SIP calling or VoIP calling, which is voice over IP. I'm here to tell you that that does work indeed very well. I just tested it a couple minutes ago, but because the numbers are going to be shown, I don't want to actually show how that works. But I can show you where you can go to get that set up. So you just go into the settings, wireless, I'm sorry, nope, let me just do that one more time. Settings, call settings. And then if you go all the way down to the bottom, it says uh, internet calling, and then you can go ahead and set up your um, your SIP account, and, and indeed it does work. Obviously, it depends on your Wi-Fi connection, uh, how good or bad it is. I believe it works over 3G, 4G, but I haven't tested it myself. As you can see, it runs ADW by default, so you have a little nice uh, pinch to pinch to expand I guess uh, to see all the desktops um, this is a very nice it's an HTC uh, sense kind of uh, design but uh, you know a lot of the uh, launchers uh, have that now uh, we let's mention some problems that um, or, or let's just yeah since this is a beta so let's go over things that don't work uh, first thing what Bluetooth is not very reliable for me sometimes it turns it looks like it's turned on right now but oftentimes I can't get it working um, and another thing is when we go and play a YouTube video we only get uh, audio no video uh, what happens you get a green screen so that's obviously something that needs to be addressed and I'm sure Technomancer is already well aware of that. Another thing is one of my favorite features, I think, I'm not sure if this is, uh, you know, gingerbread specific, but holding the ho uh, the back button will actually kill the, uh, that running application, which I find is a great, is a great um, feature because, uh, I mean, you know, I don't want p applications to be running in the background unnecessarily, so I think it's a great feature. Uh, this is another application just to show you that a lot of things work here. Uh, let's see. You know, I got Pulse running up here. Everything is fluid. Everything is smooth. It is a build, like an early beta build, but I mean, it really works very well. So let's just see. You know, Google Talk. All the Google apps are are pre-installed. I'm not sure if this is something that's going to happen in the future. Uh, it just depends. But for beta testing. Uh, you know it, it, it does work uh, I don't really have any music guys sorry I use my tab to record my lectures so I'll give you a little bit of molecular biology well that's my professor I hate this man alright so audio does work speakers do work microphone does work uh, another thing that doesn't work is the camera when you open it up you get a force close um, hopefully 
well not hopefully but yes it does happen uh, which is fine you know it's a beta and uh, front that goes well uh, for the front facing camera as well uh, I use a plume here and uh, you know scrollable widgets work work great um, so a lot of things work and I'm I was really surprised on how uh, how fast uh, this thing is and battery life is really great I've been on this thing for about a day um, let's see let's well, let's just check battery usage and I'm not sure if how well that's coming up but that does say one day two hours and 21 minutes for me so that's um, that's really great I mean especially for the tab I usually get about 12 hours so here I'm over 24 hours now which is uh, fantastic so guys, this is it. Just a quick look at Cyanogen Mod 7 for the Samsung Galaxy Tab. If you guys want more um, like a status and progress on this, check out the XDA forms. Uh, I'll put a link up in the description. And you guys might want to check out our forms at thegalaxytabform.com or you can just check out thegalaxytab.com for all your Galaxy Tab news and reviews. Thanks guys for watching. Take care.